Everybody, welcome back, Falcon. Rebuild three gangs of Deadsville. So, last episode we left off with kind of a precarious situation about to come down on us right now. We have, not only do we have like a regular zombie horde over here, which is kind of a trouble in itself, but this is the one that worries me the most, this um, zombie mob, which is the one that kind of goes through your defenses regardless of which and causes havoc no matter what. Last time around when we dealt with them, we had few to kind of lower their numbers down a bit, so this time around we're not really sure what we're looking forward to here. I'm thinking, number one, we take care of this first and then we worry about this, right? Because he still has to kind of come down through, what, one, two, and three? Maybe three more spots before it crashes through, so hopefully we can kind of take care of this before that happens. So, what I need to do is send all my best fighters over here right now. So we'll send you guys, you're over here fighting a small horde. I'm going to probably get you off of this duty for now. We don't really care about that right now, let me send you over here. This is still 29%, that's still really, really high. Um, let me send you over here as well. It's going to bring us down to 22, which is still a bit of a problem. But I don't think it's anything that we can't deal with. How much do you guys have to do here? A day, huh? Let me send, um... Let me give you guys one more person. Let me give you... Let me give you Oisha. Just because I feel comfortable that I could deal with this over here by myself. It's still a day and 0% danger. And this should bring us down to 10% danger. I like it. So we'll go forward with that. Spotted resources, excellent. Now, our builder over here, by the way, we could probably get another farm going over here, I would say. So Harriet, how about you go into... see here. Sure, guard here momentarily. Come back over here. We're going to build ourselves another farm. It's going to require seven resources to do so, which is the seven that we just got from um, bringing that down. We could get another apartment going on, but I feel more comfortable getting more food happening right now. So we'll do one more farm. It's going to cost us seven. It's going to take you how long to do this? Two days left because remember she's level 11 now in terms of building so again that's the reason why i've been building up that building skill with her you're going to continue training over here malcolm and engineering 1.3 i want to get him up to three before we start doing some engineering with him as well so we're good over here you're farming you're farming and you're guarding over here if you're free how about you come over here and give us one more hand as well i don't think it's going to hurt us anyway so go forward a bit here comes that zombie mob which worries me Worries me significantly. Dangerous zombie. Zombie said back over here too. Shit. <gasps> okay, so we're done over here. Good. What I want to do is I'm going to attack these guys before they even come through. That means we need to finish up over here before that happens. So we have under a day left for this one. And there's another zombie threat over here too. Let me go forward. How much time do you guys need right now? Under a day as well? Okay. You need a level up apparently. Malcolm, what do you got to say to me, man? Malcolm's story. Malcolm Anderson opened up to me today. He told me, Before the outbreak, I struggled to survive, just like now. I lived on the street, but I never did anything illegal for money. I only begged and stole plants they let me grow in the community garden. Mostly lavender, people with money bought them to smell nice. And believe you me, some of those well-to-do fellows needed help in the smell department. And that's coming from someone who was lucky to get a bat once a month. What perks should Malcolm get? So, um, we want to probably do something bonus food while farming. Uh... It'd be nice, but first aid reduces chance of death on missions. That's pretty good. And we have Bookworm. Research Burst plus two engineering from books. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Get that one because you're going to be our engineer anyway. So, yeah, well, you'll get that one. So you can kind of level up a bit faster when we get some books. I would have loved to get into the first aid one so he doesn't die <laughs> during a mission. But I think that, you know, we increase them more in engineering so we have a top engineer before anything else. This over here worries me. We'll have to look into that really, really soon. And you're fine over here, huh? Can you probably take care of this mob before it becomes a big issue? 17 is a big problem, actually. How are you guys doing right here? 7, huh? Okay. Let me send one more person over here to help you out. At admission, what if I sent you Latifa Ward? She's not a good fighter. That great of a fighter, but it's something. You guys are at 10% now, and what about you? You're at 9%. I like it. So go forward. Remember, we want to... Ooh. What? <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting marriages now? Timothy, you came up, dude. You got Oisha, who's just like one of the best fucking fighters that I have. Well, here's something the zombies can't stop. Timothy and Oisha have fallen in love and can't wait to get hitched. A wedding would be just what we need. Seeing these two in love will remind us that we're what we're fighting for. Hold a small wedding under a tree, spend some food, and have a crazy party. Uh, deny, the, <laughs> deny their love and disallow the marriage. Wow. Let me just hold a small wedding under a tree. Uh, seeing Timothy and Oisha kiss and say their vows uplifted all of us. I hope we see more of this. So we got 10 plus to happiness to that. That's fine. Doesn't really stop much of what we're doing. Here comes that zombie threat, which I was worried about. Construction tips. Someone from the pig farmers wrote up 
on an old cargo bike today saying he was looking for bits of metal to make sharpened spikes. Apparently the pig farmers want to cover the fort in them to make it more look more badass. Our builders could probably show them just how to make those spikes uh, more than just eye candy. Offer expert advice? Give them a few tips. Let me offer them some expert advice. The pig farmers were happy with the help. Their fort should be stronger than ever now. Hopefully they will, will never have to face off against them. Well, let's just hope so. So we have a uh, plus 10 faction strength with these guys, and we also have um, a little bit more respect happening here, which is good. Now, I hope that they never turn against us because we've just basically refortified their own defenses in case we ever start throwing down with them, so that could be a problem. Speaking of a problem, are you guys almost done over here? What about over here? Okay, you guys will be done at the same time. We need to finish this off really soon because I want to assault these guys before they come through, otherwise we're kind of fucked. Injury while killing zombies. You never, you know how the police always used to tell us how dangerous unexploded ordnance are. Andrea Anderson found a discarded box of the stuff while we were killing zombies, and it went off in her face. I think we should should be okay in a few days, but it would be a while before she will have any sort of eyebrow to speak of. Well, you know what? No offense, Andrea, but you weren't the greatest looking person around before. So if anything, just think of it this way: they're kind of like a battle wound, where you kind of look even more intimidating to enemies now. So hey, we have that going on. So we're done. <clears throat> we're good. Everything's done. Zombie attack imminent. I'm aware of that. And everybody's done. And the zombie hordes have been relaxed. So now we need to come over here. If I send everybody off over here, what happens? Zombie mob. I can't attack them. So we send everybody to the hospital, right? I can't? Oh, you gotta be shitting me, right? Uh-oh. Um. So we just guard. We guard none. Everybody over here guarding. Uh, 1% danger to the fort, okay. So, we just hold off and wait till they come through. I hope they don't, you know, fuck her up. I mean, she's over here injured anyway. You're, you know, engineering, you're building the farm, and you're farming. Okay. Good. Let's keep going forward. Again, this is what's really kind of worrisome to me right now, but I think we should be okay. Here comes, uh, more people. The pig farmers. And here is a zombie attack. Zombie mob is going to take ages to get the rotten flesh stains out of my shirt, but we've got a whole bunch less Zed to worry about, so we were able to fend it off really nice and dandy this time around. Good. That's a good thing about having a lot of good fighters at the very least. You're up to level 2 now. Good. You're healing. It's going to take you how long? 2.3 days left. Alrighty. Well, you do that. You're over here building, you're farming, you're farming, you're training, and we have... Uh, the pig farmer over at the dojo. Okay, and how's our food situation now? 5 food per day, that's actually really good. And 94 happiness, 10 out of 12 survivors, good. So we could probably hire a few more. Do I want to send this guy off to hire some people? Maybe two more wouldn't be the worst thing, huh? Especially if we could get some, you know, possibly a legit engineer, a legit scout. Um, let me have you go and try to talk to this dude one more time and see what happens. Recruit over here. And my fighters are on guard duty now. Well, I don't want that happening, so how about we start clearing out some more areas here. Grocery store has one zombie. Sure, let's send somebody over here. One zombie should be enough for Zuli. Do that. McNoodles, no zombies. Warehouse is good. What about the laboratory? All good. Police station has a zombie in it. Let's send two zombies. Let's send Latifa Ward. Not sure what you were doing up there, but were you killing zombies? You probably were. There's a few zombies up here. None there. So we have two more sets over on this side, huh? So how about we send, uh, 17. That's a lot of them, actually. Ashley, are you gonna be good with this? 4% danger. Let me send Ashley and... Let me send the couple. There you go. Happy wet couple. You should be okay with that one. And over here, we have 15 zombies, which should be enough for Ashley, I would say, right? What is this? Oh, yeah. She's good. So happily wedded couple over here. You're here, and then you'll take care of these zombies here. You're healing. You're fighting. Alrighty. Keep going forward. Are we done with the farm? The farm is built. Alrighty, so we have an extra source of uh, food coming in, which is always a good plus. 3.3 .3 per day, nice. Now, we have six um, materials. We want to get the huge farm for sure, but at the same time, a little bit more deep. Laboratory would be good now because we have the engineer, huh? Okay, start mission. Kill one zombie with Harriet. So Harry, you come over here, kill this one zombie. You should be able to do it, right? One day, 0% danger. Yeah, you'll be fine. And again, we get that zombie out of the way, we can kind of reclaim this uh, laboratory, and then our engineer could probably do some crazy stuff in there. We have two different caravans who up on us, and a possible recruit! 
There's a man living at the suburb near us. He's got a nice setup, a good cache of food and weapons, and traps to keep the zombies busy down on the street so he can pick them off one by one. He wants to know what is in it for him if he joins us, and more specifically, what's our ultimate goal in here in Seattle. What do we tell him we want? High walls and strong military, a peaceful, egalitarian utopia, everything back the way it was. Um... Let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, bullshit him a bit here. A peaceful utopia. Sounds like hippie hogwash to me. Ah, oh, it wasn't a response I was hoping for. The man seemed to think our plans were frivolous and had nothing to do with either survival or personal happiness. He accused us of wanting to take his stuff like some dirty commies. I guess there's no good place for this guy in our utopia. Good riddance. No, it's not good riddance. I wanted him. I lied. Tell him I lied. <laughs> Maybe he'll respect that. I'd be like, you know what, dude? I'm sorry. I was just bullshitting you. I also want a strong military. I was a liar. You probably respect me being a liar because, you know, I was just trying to bullshit you. I don't know. I, that's what I thought it would work. I guess it didn't, though. That's a problem. Oh, well. Um, and this is the guy that was over here that we were trying to recruit earlier, wasn't it? So we missed out on him completely. That's a shame. That is a definite shame because he had weapons and good stuff for us. Our ammunition is really low, meaning we need to go to the workshop and probably get somebody to start building stuff over here. Could um you do that, as a matter of fact? You could probably do this, right? How long would this take? Three days? Okay, let's have you do work on that. I'm not gonna I'm gonna forego recruiting people right now. You're healing, and then these people are freed up. So as my builder, let me have you come over here and reclaim the laboratory. You train, you fight, and then we have a few extra people over here opened up. I'll probably have you guys scout, probably, right? Workshop hasn't been scouted, so you might as well just have um Latifa scout that area out. This office building has been scouted. Apartment building has not been scouted, so we'll do that with Zuli Davis. Start. Okay, let's zoom out here a little bit and keep going forward. Zombie horde over here. That's going to be a problem. Alrighty. So we have one person freed up, which is the important person anyway. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Stop for a second. What is this? 18%? Let me send the couple in with you as well. And that's going to be 0%. Perfect. So you guys do your thing over here. Caravan's coming near us. That's fine. Should we do some trading with them? I guess we could try it. Uh-oh. Uh, dogs attack. Seattle was beset by a pack of stray dogs last night. They got under the walls somehow and made a real mess of things, knocking stuff over and getting into the food supplies. Luckily, they didn't get anything before Zuli Davis confronted them. But she got a nasty bite in the arm for her efforts. At least she managed to chase them off. Doesn't look like the bite carried any disease, but she'll need a few days to recover. That's unfortunate, but it happens. And let's see... Zuli Davis is over here. How long are you going to be out for? Five days, because you're not in a hospital. So the moment we're freed up, we'll send you up here. Because, um, Andrea's about to recover anyway, right? Yeah. Okay, so you continue scouting. Um, I kind of want to talk to this person here. But at the same time, we're kind of building some ammunition, too. So I'll hold off. Scout to this area. Danger is Maz Zed. Where? Over here? Okay. And injury's been healed. Sweet. So do me a favor. You come over here. And just guard meanwhile. You... I would love to put you in the hospital. Start a mission. Can't do it, huh? Go to the hospital. <laughs> Come on, Zuli. Go to the fucking hospital. Heal yourself up faster. Uh, doesn't let me do it for some reason. Seems kind of foolish if you ask me. Alrighty. So just hang out there meanwhile. You continue building that. You guard right now. And you are freed up as well. Hmm... Can the both of you deal with this? I really doubt it. Yeah, it's kind of high up. Let me just have you guys guard. Let me just have you guys guard meanwhile. And keep going forward. This is over here. Waiting to be recrafted. We're done with that zombie attack. Perfect. You guys come over here now. Deal with those zombies. And I'm going to free you guys up to... Let's see. Start a mission over here. Kill three zombies with Latifa, And then we have one more suburb. I guess scavengers are a little bit... Graveyard is becoming an issue again. Seven zombies for Andrea. Do you think you can handle that? You should be able to, right? Yeah, okay. Go forward. Ammunition, we're down to one. That's a big problem, especially for our people with guns. Oh shit, that's even a bigger problem over there. Stop. So we got the laboratory reclaimed. Now, I'm happy about this because our engineer is level three now and we have the laboratory, so... Let me move you out of here for now. Sure, go farm, I guess. You are going to be moved over here now. And I'm going to have you do some research. Zombie vitals. Let me take a look at this really quickly. So, 
Danger, what are we looking for? Research. Zombie vitals, 10% more effective killing zombies. Build bars, schools, churches, labs, etc. Creating policies that affect the whole fort. Basic traps, craftable zombie killing, building upgrade, zombie avoidance, disease vectors, reduced chances of zombie bites, anti-zombie armor, draw in Z to a building, fort silence, improved walls, so there's like a lot of good stuff happening here. 10% faster workshop crafting. That could be really good. Let's go with construction. So, you are going to work on... Well, I have them selected, don't I? Let me move you out of here for now. Research into... Fort policies, right? No, construction. So you go into construction for now. I think that's going to be good. Or should we go for zombie vitals so we're more effective fighting them? No, I'm going to go with this one. I think that's going to be good because then we'll be able to make more bullets faster as well. Because right now it's taking us quite a bit of time to do this. Are you almost done, by the way? Almost done. Almost there. You guys are fighting. You're fighting. Farming. Fighting. Crafting. Researching. This over here could be a problem. So as soon as some of these people are done... Oh, dude, there's another big zombie mob too. Fuck. And we're almost out of bullets as well. <laughs> okay. These guys are going to get here relatively soon. Can I fight these guys off right now? Timothy, let me do me a, do me a favor. You... I'm going to have to remove that gun off of you because we're out of ammunition really soon. And we might need it for the big zombie mob down there. So... At admission, Timothy, off of that one. Can you guys handle this by yourself? 15% danger, not quite. I'm not liking that too much. You give us a hand over here too, that's going to bring us up to what? 11, that's better. You go on guard duty over here meanwhile. Alright. Keep going forward, here comes this big zombie attack. They're out to get us. I'm not sure what local Zed have been growling through recently, but going from the chemical smell, it's something fairly nauseous. What's worse of it is has it made the Zed volatile. In other words, they now have a bad habit of exploding when shot, stabbed, or hit with too much force? Really? You might think this is a good thing, but having a creature in your face explode when you stick a knife in it just as bad as getting its teeth in you. It's going to be extra dangerous to send people outside the fort until this chemical dissipates. Extra danger from zombies for the next five days. That's a problem because we're dealing with this here, and we're dealing with this here. We have more ammunition, which is a good thing, but still. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Hefe. You... I want you to craft more bullets for us. Craft many items. Ammunition. So you'll just do this forever, right? Until... Yeah. So I'll, I'll have you stop whenever I feel like we have a good number. You are farming. You are... Not... You're farming right now, which is something I don't really care about too much. Do we have enough materials to get the police under our control? Two zombies we need... Yeah, it's only going to cost us two. So can you deal with these two zombies by yourself? Yes. Okay, so you deal with them. You continue researching. You need to fucking heal up fast. This is going to have to stop. Because if zombies are going to start blowing up, it's going to be a problem for us. So let's do guard duty over here. And then we'll send somebody to give Timothy a hand over here. Edit mission. We'll send his wife over. And suddenly, our danger level is at, what, 10% only? And over here, we're looking at 0%. So I could send even one more person over here. Let's send uh, Latifa as well. Okay. So that just leaves me over here by myself, but I'm still at 0%, and you guys are at 6%. I think that works out pretty good. Okay, go forward. This graveyard needs to finish off. Research construction! Yes, yes, I know, people used to put up buildings all the time without power tools and cement trucks and 3D modeling software, but not in Seattle. It was a challenge just to find tools we need to raise a building by hand. We've also forgotten how to do things the old-fashioned way. Who needs to know that stuff in the world of modern conveniences, right? Heh, <laughs> right. So, we had to relearn how to build with our own hands. If all else fails, get a hammer and some nails and just give her. Effect, build bars, schools, churches, labs, etc. Let me stop here for a second. So, good job, Malcolm. Now let me have you research into generate power. Let's go into here really quickly. Researching. So we have that one done. We can do fa watchtowers, defense uh, building upgrade. This is what I want. Faster workshop crafting. Fertilizer for more food. Prevent drought. Prevent pest and improve farms. Electrified walls could be really good too. We could do that from generate power as well. So how about we get generate power going? So you, my friend come over here we will 
generate power with you. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Come on, come on. Alrighty. You're guarding, you're guarding. Okay, let's go forward. This whole exploding zombie shit kind of worries me a little bit. Alright, here we go. This is what I was worried about. We can hold them off for- we can't hold them off for long, we need a plan. There's a lot of junk around here, we could use our spare building materials to set up a quick barricade, or we could order everyone to retreat. We'd more likely lose the building, but at least nobody will get hurt. So this would cost three. Order everyone to retreat, or let our defenders handle it. Ah. Uh, if I build a barricade, I don't think I have enough um, materials left over to get the police station under our, under our grasp. But if we retreat, then we're losing the building as well. Where- what building is this? Oh, that's the warehouse. That's actually kind of important. Ah, oh, let our defenders handle it. The thing is that they're exploding right now, so yeah, I'm gonna build a barricade. With enough duct tape and rusty nails, anything can be a barrier. They tore it all to shreds, but it gave us enough time to get around for a better angle behind them. So we were able to hold them off. Good. But we're out of materials, so we can't reclaim the police station anymore. This over here is still a problem, so let's send everybody off over here, just to make sure that'll go alright. And we have Andrea Anderson in the suburbs. I think she was done with the graveyard attack. So what we're looking for right now is actual materials to kind of um, build more defense, um, acquire more buildings. Right now we're pretty much ass out of luck when it comes to materials. We do have food, so I think it's probably a good time to talk to these people. However, you're over here crafting still, aren't you? Mm hmm. And we still have the zombie thread. Alrighty, you come over- no, 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 just hang out here. Just guard. You come over here and try to get a trade off. I'm gonna see if I can get some materials off of them. And you're gonna come over here and can you craft ammunition at a decent pace? Three days as well, yeah. That's pretty much what El Jefe was doing. So I think that works out. And you continue doing your engineering? Okay, let's go forward. Let's see what happens. Alright, trade with Luddites. Uh, Lut let the trade caravan, actually a school bus with a large gun mounted on the top to a big parking lot and opened up shop. Ask if they need anything? We're nearly out of fuel, offered one of the caravan workers. We had a whole shipment coming in from another town, but it never showed. Probably out there somewhere getting picked over by some scavengers. I bet the boss would pay nearly double for it. If Love overheard it, he didn't say anything. So let's haggle first and foremost. Now, um, we have food for them. However, they have a lot of food too, but we need his materials right now. That hammer would be pretty good. I'm not going to sell what little fuel we have left over as much as I'd love to get twice as much money out of it. So here's what we do. I think we go food, and we give them 16 food for now, and then we'll off, we'll get 13 materials, huh? I don't think we need that many. How about we do like five for now, and then we also grab the hammer. You'll need one more food for that to happen, right? So it's 17 is what we're looking at? So 17 food for the hammer and for some materials. I think that works out pretty good. As a matter of fact, how about we do like 20 food? It'll put us at 12. But again, we're producing a lot of food, right? We're producing 3.5 per day. Let me get a bit more materials going on here. Eight material, hammer for some food. I like it. Trade. They always say that, you know, you got a fair deal when no one goes away happy. I don't think there's going to be a celebration on either side tonight, but both of us in the Luddites got the stuff we needed. Perfect. Stop. Alrighty, so, let's call an episode here. We got some materials so we could now reinforce the police station. Let me actually set you up over here and reclaim. Alrighty, so you'll reclaim that. We still need to fend off this exploding zombie horde. And um, we gave away some food, but again, we're kind of producing food relatively fine right now, so it's not a big issue. Hopefully everything went good. I think it went pretty good. Let's call an episode here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support not only helps the series, but actually helps the overall growth of the channel. So for all means, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to just leave a thumbs up or a like. Really easy to do, and it really helps me out. Other than that, I will catch you guys next time.